So students are grouped in various ways in the classroom. Um, we use multiple data points in order to group students. Uh, the first data point that we might start with, with would be their NWEA test data, so their RIT level for um, uh, overall RIT, that gives us a starting point. And then, for example, for uh, literature, we would go on to maybe their guided reading level, and then that narrows it down a little further. Um, and then from there, we might uh, give the students a pre-assessment to find out for this particular skill that we're going to be working on, you know, where are they falling with prior knowledge, who kind of already has a pretty good handle on it and won't need that much instruction. Um, and then from the pre-assessment, we get together as a, a team, hash out all the data, and put the students into groups from there. And what you'll see is too, with the, with, as far as the group with the peers, they'll say, okay, well, you're using this graphic organizer. Well, next time I'm gonna try that because they'll see another peer doing it. And so that's where the, the grouping of the students comes in. They kind of help and push each other. You could do the other one. That's too easy for you. And they're like, yeah, it is. And then they'll try the other one. So the student interest and the peer, the, the peer collaboration also has, is a big impact too.